Hi everybody and welcome to my room tour. So I did a poll about wanting to see if you guys wanted to see this quite a while ago and a lot of you said yeah. And I did record it originally, however, I got a couple of new things so I had to re-record the room tour. But I'll kind of be going through voiceover me and me in the actual videos talking. So that's kind of how this is going to work. So if there's change in audio, that's why. Yeah, so let's get to it. Let's start over with my Sonic stuff. All right, so to go over my Sonic collection, um, I have this shadow figure that was available in a loot crate. And I actually restored him because he was in some really bad shape. I think the previous owner's dog got to him. So I repainted him in some spots and just overall made him look a lot nicer. His stand also came broken, so I added this to it because originally there was supposed to be something in there and then when I received the package, that was not um, with it. So I improvised a little bit. Over here we have the Sonic G Fuel can. I don't know, I figured I'd save it. <laughs> the cool part of the collection. We have the Sonic Amiibo. We have both the Tails and Sonic Diamond Select statues. Um, articulated Sonic figure along with a fig pin and a shadow from the Jax Bendy series. And this little classic uh, Sonic was in a mystery box at Target. Right there is a Perler Bead Sonic that I made. Moving up here, we have some more figures, obviously. We have metal with um, this trap thing that I put to the wall. Super Shadow, a little keychain of Sonic's shoe that I made, inspired by an actual piece of merchandise, but it was like only available in Australia or something, along with a red Chaos Emerald. Tails with a little invincibility shield. Um, a Sonic and Clay Chow that I made. I made the Sonic out of a 3D pen and then I paper mache him. He looks kind of rough, but I don't know. I didn't really feel like throwing him away. And over here we have a statue of classic Sonic like statue that I got and I'm sure some of you have probably seen me unboxing it. Um, behind here I have Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog on VHS because my dad had it growing up, I believe. I have Knuckles with a green Chaos Emerald. Moving up here, we have a bunch of stuff um, I got from when I was in Japan, actually, um, magazine-wise. The Ryuk I got um, at a local game store here, and then the Skuretama I got at um, Target. But these two origamis were gifts from um, some of the students at the school I attended while I was abroad. And then I also have my Skytree ticket right here. It's kind of old looking, but yeah, <laughs> I wanted to keep it. And then over here I have some of my My Hero manga. Um, I actually have it all the way up to date, minus the most recent manga that has finally been released in English because I have a friend who's borrowing them at the moment and they still haven't read it. <laughs> Over here I have a bunch of little knickknacks. Um, I mean, you can really just see for yourselves. Actually, something that's cool, these two Star Wars figures are from my dad and they're the original toys, obviously, that um, are now pretty valuable um if they're in good condition mine are a little roughed up but i'm probably not going to get rid of them since they are from my dad this right here is actually a wallet that still has yen in it so let me show you guys this is pretty cool um so this is the wallet like i said um and i got this from a family friend of my host family's he gave it to me as a uh, going away gift if i unbutton this it comes undone like that. Then there's a bunch of yen inside. And actually, a cool thing about this is you can also unbutton it from here. And it's all just one piece of cloth and it's just like folded up to stay secure. Oh, and another really cool thing I forgot to mention is I actually have 
the childhood dreamcast right up here that i played sonic on and that's also why i have a uh, shuffle adventure and adventure 2. despite being born in 2003 i actually played it on the dreamcast i kind of have a video that goes a little in depth to how but essentially it's a hand-me-down from my dad because he was always a Sega kid growing up. The video I had mentioned earlier is basically just the Why I Love Sonic video, which is a video that I hold near and dear to my heart. And obviously, as you can tell, I like him a lot. Eventually, if these shelves get too overbearing and I can't fit anything else, I'm probably going to move the stuff up here into one of these sections because these guys could probably be put somewhere else, um, not in a cubicle. Um, and I just move everything so this would be entirely Sonic. I also eventually want to replace the wooden shelves. I was thinking about painting them, but then I found out the wood is actually fake. It's like a weird, almost wallpaper that you put on like plywood or something. But, um, that's money I don't really have to spend right now. <laughs> so, uh, the w fake wood will have to do, I suppose. <laughs> And then over here, I have all of my My Hero Academia stuff, or Boku no Hero Academia stuff. I have two Bakugo figures. This one I got from a convention. Um, I have this Ida figure that I got for Christmas, I believe. And then this really big Bakugo figure that I love so much, and he's from Barnes & Noble. And he can barely fit in this cubicle, but he manages. And then I have this pop figure of Froppy. I have a Bakugo one too, but it's in my car. And then over here, I have my Studio Ghibli stuff. It's just kind of an array of figures I have. I have a Totoro, a Castle in the Sky robot, a uh, No Face, this cat bus that I got from Japan, and fun fact, the Totoro is actually piggy bank. And then over here, I have my Demon Slayer stuff. It's a little bit empty, but I'm planning on getting more figures, so it's not just like an Inosuke shrine, but he is my favorite character. And then over here, I have my Legend of Zelda stuff. I have a Link amiibo and a Guardian amiibo, along with a Ocarina and a Master Sword in like a weird holder thing. <laughs> and there's this. And then on top of my shelves, I have this Ryuk figure from my local anime store, I guess, and this All Might figure I actually customized, so he was more accurate to the show. And behind Ryuk here, I actually have an original Tokyo Ghoul manga panel. Um, I really love the artwork of it, and I still need to actually get around to reading it, but I love this scene in the show so, so much. If we move over here, I obviously have my computer right here, I have my iPad that I draw on, my headphones, whatever pencil sharpener, I have hairspray there, I guess, I don't know. Um, and up here we have another Sonic poster. This is actually a scroll I got from a local kind of like nerdy store, pop culture store, I guess you could call it. Um, over here I have... Um, two pretty old um, magazines that I decided to frame just to kind of, I don't know, make everything look nicer because this originally had um, some Adventure Time characters and I'm gonna eventually phase out this Adventure Time wall if I ever feel like doing it, but um, I'm still fine with it. I love Adventure Time so much, but I've just been wanting something new. Yeah, so my background is actually a live feed of Sonic Forces gameplay that somebody submitted as a live wallpaper, and so I use that. Um, and Sonic ends up running. It kind of takes him a while over here. Yep, there he goes, and then he bounces. Another Sonic runs across here, um, here and there, so yeah. So yeah, that's basically the entirety of my room, I guess. I mean, of course, there's some things here and there that aren't really super important that are in like my cabinets and stuff, but regardless, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I loved recording this, and I think I'm probably gonna make more YouTube videos, honestly. But, um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably do like a mix of like Sonic stuff or like art stuff. 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.